Hey guys, Scare9 here. Welcome back to my channel today. And in this video, I want to go over all of the Season 3 Flawless Rewards, at least for this week. However, it does seem to be pretty much every reward that you will get for going Flawless in Season 3. So to start off with, I want to take a look at probably my favorite exotic ghost in the game. This thing is so sick looking. It is called the Knight's Peace Shell. You can buy it directly off of the Flawless Fender, and it's so freaking cool. It's like a naked ghost. It really doesn't have a shell that much. It's very cool looking. It's got the same type of burning blue as the skull helmet back in Destiny 1. It's just a beautiful ghost. And to make it even better, the perk is that it gives 10% more XP in any activity. So it's super useful. It's super cool looking. What more could you ask for in a ghost shell? Now, in addition to this ghost, we actually have a couple of weapons added, at least for this week. I'm not sure how many were added total, but this week she was offering three for sale at level 5, level 10, and level 15. So the first is going to be a kinetic SMG, the Motion to Suppress. It features a lightweight frame, or 900 rounds per minute, and it comes with the notable perks Ricochet Rounds, Dynamic Sway, and Zen Moment. Essentially, this is going to be an adjudicator that just hits like a truck because you're not going to miss any of your shots. It's very, very fast very very accurate and I cannot wait to get a lot of experience with this weapon. The second weapon is going to be an energy scout rifle called the motion to compel. It features a high impact frame which is 150 rounds per minute and its notable perks are moving target and kill clip. Once again just very effective especially in crucible. And then the final weapon is going to be the shotgun called the motion to vacate. It is a lightweight frame shotgun and it features the notable perks moving target and opening shot. So once again a very very good shotgun. Now, in addition to this, you have a couple of aesthetic rewards as well. First off, you have another ghost shell. This one's really boring. It's called the Millennial Spadework Shell. It's honestly, just like I said, pretty boring. It's the season two shell type. It's not cool at all. The next thing is going to be a season three sparrow. Looks very cool called the Canine Rising Sparrow. If you're interested in this body frame of sparrows, I would definitely recommend taking this one out. And then finally, you have the Burning Bright Tiger, which is going to feature the dawning type of ship. Once again, just kind Kind of meh. Now, I do want to say the rewards are really cool this season around, but I don't think they necessarily meet the expectations that I had based on season two. For instance, it does not appear that there's any new armor set, ornament set, or anything like that for season three. And even though the exotic ghost shell is super, super cool, I just, I don't know how I feel about that. I was really looking forward to it, especially because the armor set in season two was my favorite Destiny armor set of all time. I was really hoping they were going to top it. And instead, we found out that we're not getting an ornament set this season, or apparently we're not because there's not one in-game at the moment. Um, I get that they're working a lot on the Crucible. We got the new ranking systems. There's all sorts of rewards for those. The Raedrixes, the new Ghost, that's freaking amazing, all that kind of stuff. Maybe they just didn't have time to design it. Um, but either way, I really would have liked one. Hopefully we get one in the future, maybe halfway through season three. That seems super unlikely, but I'm still holding out. So let me know what you guys think about all these rewards down in the comment section below. I, for one, am going to look on the bright side. This is such a cool ghost shell. I'm so excited to have gotten it. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in that comment section. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you didn't, make sure to leave a like rating and share it with your friends. If you're interested in watching either of the two videos on screen, you can click their respective invitations to be taken to them. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure to hit the giant version of my logo on screen to be subscribed for more awesome testing two videos and live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I will see you in my next video.